Last 48 hours keeping up with SB4, you may have whiplash. SB4 is the state law that would allow Texas police to arrest people on suspicion of illegal entry into the U.S. It would also allow them to deport them. Currently, that power only lies with agents empowered by federal immigration laws. SB4 was unblocked for a few hours Tuesday and then blocked again as the court system sorts out this controversial law. CBS 7's Hannah Brock spoke to two border sheriffs and state representative Brooks Landgraf to get the West Texas perspective on the law making national headlines. She joins us now with more on that story. Hannah? Well, like most of us, those West Texas leaders have been watching the court proceedings unfold. While the back and forth may be confusing, Representative Brooks Landgraf says no recent decision sets the fate of SB4 in stone. From the start, the law was opposed by the Biden administration and immigrant rights advocates. In early March, it was blocked by a federal judge just before it went into effect. The conflicts have continued. The Supreme Court weighed in on Tuesday and then the Fifth Circuit uh, weighed in on Tuesday night kind of with uh, different rulings saying that Texas could enforce the law, followed by a ruling that Texas at least temporarily can't enforce the law. So there's a lot of chaos in the courts right now, and I think that reflects the chaos that we're seeing on the border as well. Sheriff Ronnie Dodson believes SB4 will remain in limbo for now. It looks like the border sheriffs will be the ones that will have to do, you know, will do most of the enforcement of this. That's because they're the most likely to witness the act of entering the country illegally, giving true probable cause to arrest someone. Sheriff Thaddeus Cleveland and Dodson don't see SB4 changing much. They say they'll continue to transfer people arrested for illegal immigration to Border Patrol. First of all, my jail, I can only hold seven people at a time. Second of all is the distances to Del Rio, Texas, which is about two and a half hours, or over to Presidio, which ha also has a port of entry, which is about three hours. So in order to, to get those folks, those illegal aliens, repatriated back to their country, it's going gonna, it's gonna to involve some other resources that we just don't have at this time. However, Cleveland believes SB4 would provide a good tool. Having that ability to assist Border Patrol when they have too many people in custody to be able to, uh, to make that arrest and, and then deal with them here at the local level. Opponents of SB4 say it violates federal powers to regulate immigration and threatens the rights of immigrants. Supporters say it's a necessary reaction to a border crisis. In the future, those arguments will be made formally. You know, we're just seeing the courts make temporary decisions about the enforcement of, of the law right now while we await uh, a more permanent decision uh, to be made by the Fifth Circuit and maybe even ultimately by the Supreme Court. The Fifth Circuit Court heard oral arguments about the block today but did not make any changes. SB4 remains on hold. For CBS 7 First Alert News, I'm Hannah Brock.